What's going on? And welcome to View the Right Thing. And this is Hustle Recap and Review. And yeah, consider that your spoiler warning. We open up with Everyman Schmo, Stan Sugarman. He's a scout with the Philadelphia 76ers, and he's here to scout a Boban. He's dominating everything, but Stan's like, yo, are you sure you're 22? Look, Stan's been everywhere looking for talent, and the best he's found so far is one kid who gets too high, another kid who's got ups that don't get high enough, and one kid named Haas, who Stan is just lukewarm on. He knows Haas is not much to go on, but he's the best name that Stan can bring back with him to Philly, and with that, the movie begins. And it's not going well. We're dropped in on a tense coaches meeting, and it's all about Haas. Stan doesn't like him, but not Jim Buss, the owner's son, swears by him. Stan swears that Haas has no heart, but maybe Sugarman needs heart too because ultimately he caves and goes with the crowd, which is clear to the owner. Later, he confronts Stan and he's like two things. One, I'm not drafting Haas, and I know you noped out back there. Stan cops to it, and the honesty causes him to fail up. Congratulations, Stan, you're a coach now. Stan's wanted to be a coach forever, a job that will allow him to stay closer to home, so that's exactly where he goes to celebrate. Cake time, y'all. Later, Sugarman's driving his daughter, and he's being super unsafe, but I'm not judging because he's showing her highlights of Dr. J, and I might have done that a time or two, but the highlights bring a low light as Stan hears on the radio that the Sixers owner has died. This is not good for a newly hired coach. Next is the funeral, and there we meet Dr. J and Stan's friend and ex-teammate, Leon, who's a super agent now. We also meet the owner's daughter, not Jeannie Buss. She tells Sugarman that she's gonna let her brother run the team. Now, Coach Sugarman is working out some players until he's called into the big office. We learn that not Jim Buss has made a mistake after he drafted Haas, and he knows it. But he also knows the fix. Congratulations, Stan, you're back into the field. That is until you fix my mistake. Asserts that leads Sugarman all the way to Spain for a player who no-shows on him. Now Stan has some time to kill, so he goes to play ball at a local court, where it is rocking and he can see why. There's this little dude who is clowning fools, that is, until Bo Cruz shows up. He's like, I'll guard him in my work boots. And that should have been their first clue, but after he takes everybody's money, it's clear to Stan that they all just got Billy O'd. Bo Cruz is smart. He takes the money and runs, but Stan catches up to him on the bus. First trying Google Translate to communicate, but after a message makes him look so sketchy that Bo runs, Sugarman pulls an ace out of his sleeve. Dirk Nowitzki works every time, and just like that, Stan gets the kid a workout with the Spanish team, and he crushes it. But even though his workout was amazing, not Jim Buss is still hating, and the Sixers won't cover his combine expenses. But Stan doesn't care. He believes in the kid. He's going to pay to get Cruz to America himself, if he can just find him. Oh, where is he? Oh. Hustling. I think I get the name of the movie now. Later, en route to America, Bo is flagged by customs. It seems Sugarman missed the fact that Cruz has an assault charge on his record, and it takes a Sixers team lawyer to get Bo out. The pair regroup, though, when they get to a showcase that Stan knows of, and everyone is there including not Jim Buss, and he knows about that customs thing, and the showcase doesn't go well to boot. Even though Bo shows flashes of talent, another player named Kermit talks so much trash that Bo loses his cool, and after the showcase, Sugarman blames himself. He thinks he rushed Bo, and the young owner chimes in and agrees, and this finally causes Stan to pop off. He's like, I quit. He knows the combine is only six weeks away, but he doesn't care. He's gonna risk it all and bet it on him and Bo. And this feels like the perfect time for a training montage. Ah, there it is. Bo starts montage running. He starts running in the rain, and we've got tires and bridges and professors too. And after some advanced ball drills and a rocky run, Bo is properly montaged and ready for the combine. But that still might not happen. News of Bo's charges have leaked and not Jim Buss sells him out. The charges stem from a mix-up with his baby mama's jerk boyfriend, and Sugarman still believes in him, so later that night, he calls in every favor that he can, but he still gets nowhere. But his daughter has an idea. She's like, remember that video that you did with your doctor friend? She met Dr. J, and the next day, Julius Irving is out there shilling for Bo's Challenge, a challenge where Cruz will take on anybody, amateur or pro, for dough. And in no time, Bo Cruz is a viral hit. And their plan works. Soon, NBA players and rappers are co-signing Cruz, and the world is begging for his entry into the combine. And he gets it, but he's still not happy. 
He's in his head again, but this time Stan knows what to do. And the next day, surprise Bo, family recharge. And it's just in time too, because the combine is here and so is that Kermit kid. But Cruz isn't who he was earlier. He's killing the drills and he's here to let his daughter and the world know exactly who he is. And apparently that's still a guy who's weak to trash talk because when Kermit goes after Cruz's wife and kid, Bo blows his stack and his golden opportunity. It's over and he's heading home on a plane for Spain, but right before he boards, Stan gets a call. Super secret showcase, homie, get your boy. They break all the traffic laws and barely get there in time. And yo, that secret game couldn't have been much of a secret because the rest of the entire NBA is there, including not Genie Bus. And this time, Bo shows out. His mental game is as strong as his physical, and Kermit can't handle it. And neither can Jeannie Buss. She tells Sugarman that her brother's out, and that she'll need all the help that she can get to clean up his mess. That is, if Stan Sugarman knows a guy. We flash forward five months later, and Stan's making his debut as a 76ers assistant coach, and Bo Cruz is making his NBA debut as a Celtic? The two share a hug, but it's game time, and the movie ends with Stan giving Tobias Harris everything he knows about how to stop Bo Cruz. Full disclosure, I think Hustle is a love letter to the game of basketball in general and to fandoms like the Sixers specifically, of which I am in both tribes. A lot of basketball movies don't really have a lot of basketball in them, but Hustle does not have such a problem. Though clunky at times, it does all the things that you want out of an underdog sports movie, and it gets three and a half happy Gilmores out of five, and a strong recommendation for me. Thanks for watching View the Right Thing. If you dig the vibe, hit the subscribe and join the tribe. Peace.